Almost one year ago today, a local family was forever changed by a blindsiding event in their own backyard. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Zane Hopin spoke with the family today about how they're fighting for change. Zane. Thanks, Matt. The Mansfield family lost a loved one last year due to a cyanide gas device in their backyard. Now, after a year of fighting to try and make these devices illegal, they're using the anniversary to raise awareness. Thursday, March 15th, will be the one-year anniversary of Canyon Mansfield and his dog triggering a cyanide bomb near their backyard in Pocatello. Casey, the three-year-old Labrador, was killed. Canyon suffered from cyanide exposure. So the Mansfields have since been fighting to make these cyanide devices illegal, and it hasn't gotten anywhere here in Idaho. So I'm pretty mad about it. Um, by now, I think that we should have been farther, and it should have been illegal by now. M44 cyanide devices are used by the United States Department of Agriculture to kill predators that feed on livestock. For the last year, the Mansfield family has been fighting against the legality of these devices, including taking a trip to D.C. to speak with national legislators. We attempted to get a law uh, called Canyon's Law passed, and that didn't get much traction with the new cycle going nuts all the time in Washington. Colorado has since banned the use of cyanide devices, being the only one of the 16 states that allow them. Now with the one year anniversary of the incident, the family is putting on an event to continually raise awareness of the issue. They will be showing a movie called Exposed, which highlights a group's battle with the USDA's Wildlife Services program. And the film has won many awards and has even gotten an endorsement from Jane Goodall. We feel like we were blindsided by the cyanide bomb. And so we want our community to be aware of what Wildlife Services does and what other things are out there. The movie will be screened this Thursday at 7 p.m. at Bengal Theater and will be followed by a Q&A session with the family, minds behind the film, and other activists fighting the issue. Live from the newsroom, I'm Zane Hopin. Matt, back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Zane.